Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day today. I'm gonna paint a rusty old truck. I found this photo on Pixabay. I'll link it in this video's description. Isn't that great? I'm gonna crop in on it. So I'm gonna paint it like this, which I think is, I, I just like that. I like to zoom in on things. I'm gonna paint it on a 16 by 20 inch canvas from Michaels. I've already got the word love on there, which is a fun way to start. Let's just go over our colors quick and then we'll jump in. Mars black. <laughs> Titanium white. They're all Liquitex. Yellow oxide. A thalo blue green shade. And red oxide. I think they'll be really fun. Very similar palette to the roosters and the one chicken I painted. I'll link one of those in this video's description. Okay, let's have some fun. Okay, let's chat for a second. Um, I moved over to my larger easel, the tabletop easel on my art table. It was a little too tall. This, as I mentioned, this is 16 by 20 inches. If I didn't, this is 16 by 20 inches. It's a gallery wrapped canvas from Michaels. Inch and a half thick. You can see it's uh, wrapped and splined. I don't know if I can turn it enough. There's a rubber gasket up in there. I, I use their coupons and get them on sale. So I painted um, yellow oxide and white with a big brush. It's lighter yellow oxide and then darker yellow oxide at the bottom. I don't know if that matters. I just did that. Uh, then I used my photo as a traceable and traced it on to my canvas. Scribbled on the back of it with chalk pastel. And then sometimes I kind of, when I handle it, I lose my lines. So I just have a, a charcoal pencil to help put them back in. And then I also have a kneaded eraser to lighten them up. I, I do both. I have my colors out that I mentioned, yellow oxide, red oxide, phthalo blue green shade. I made a brown with uh, red oxide, some yellow oxide and black, Mars black. That's titanium white. Um, I made a blue, gray, blue or gray color for the sky. Um, you can use phthalo blue green shade. I just kind of wanted to mute it down. What else? Oh, so I cropped in. This isn't that big of a thing. This is sort of on one third line. So you don't have to do this all the time, but I use it a lot. I will put like that's about a third of the way down. It might be a little more. It's probably a little more. But I tend to put things on the thirds and I'm gonna have this be my star of the show so I don't know if I'm gonna have as much contrast in the wheel down here um, I think that's about it I think that gets us up to speed I'm putting a little darker gray up here in the window uh, working on this isn't accurate but I just move I don't know if you can see it or you can kind of see it I just put oh my cat just jumped into a bag. <laughs> I just kind of indicated a roof on the top. And then I'm just kind of indicating that the window of the, the truck goes over on the side. I don't, I'm not worried about how accurate it is. Oh, that scared me. I think that's about it. I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'll let you know, we're gonna paint a little bit of this during a live and I'll let you know when that happens. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit.
Just a couple of quick comments. I have freckles on my lap in case things wiggle a little. <laughs> she tends to want love lately when I'm videoing. So what the heck am I doing? I ended up painting this. It could be pretty much done. Um, hey, freckles. Just because it was up and off to the right, kind of out of my reach a little bit. I might, I might, I'll probably adjust it once I get more of the truck painted in. So I'm finding my corners, finding my edges, painted a little grass, um, painted the tire in, but just simply. It's not at all done. Actually, it needs some paint down here. But I just have the basic shape of that tire in, basic shape of the grass that's underneath the, the truck. Hopefully you can see that. I am right off to the left of my phone, so it's kind of hard to... <clears throat> excuse me see next I'm gonna paint in more of the black shadows or really dark shadows I might use some blue so I don't lose them so I don't lose the structure of my traceable there's more shadows and definitely more detail around there um, I'm gonna save this part for the live because it's on the left so that works that works easier so all I'm doing is just finding pieces of the puzzle I'm not too worried about if I need to lighten this or I need to darken this or I need to change it, I might need to change the shape a little bit. I think I need a curve right here and I've got a line going that way. But that's all I'm doing. Um, and I really don't know if I like it yet. There's not enough done. And I just thought a couple of those comments might be helpful. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. friends I just had a thought so when I first painted the black lines I painted them kind of black brown and blue and I think that was too much um, there's still little hints there's, I don't know if you can see it there's a little blue there this one's a little grayer but I went back and made them fatter after I painted in the metal slats excuse me my voice is my throat's dry um, what do I want to say? I'm going to back up a little bit. So the metal slats go from a little bit warmer. Like there's almost like a little bit of sunlight maybe hitting, even though there really isn't in my reference photo, to cooler and a little bit darker as they go down. Um, but I also made the dark areas a little bigger because I thought that looked better. And it just isn't looking very good. But now, now that I'm taking a little filbert brush, it's an eighth inch, and some rusty red, I'm, I took the red oxide and a little bit of brown, or actually a little bit of black. I made a darker rust. And I'm just kind of putting in, uh, I'm just trying to uh, vary it, but I'm also putting in like a little bit of rust because it um, connects right there and pretty much all of them are rusty on the sides. And then I just might drag a little, smear it. It's starting to look better, I think. And then sometimes I just dab and then put a little shadow right there where it connects into the car. It might even bend. I can't tell in the reference photo if it kind of, oh, I bet it does. So I don't know if I can do this, but it, it like connects, comes out and then connects. It's not that dramatic, but I, well, I don't know if it actually does that either. Sorry guys, because this, I think there's a whole nother angle piece that goes that way. So strike all that but it does rust where it connects which makes it look like it pushes in so I'm just sort of dry brushing squiggling and I think that's looking better I don't know if it actually does in the video the whole point is and then this might not be right because I I've got to figure out my lights coming kind of from out over here it's coming down at this angle and I think I'm going to put this tire, it has sunlight on it, but I think I might put it in the shadow because I want this to be the star of my show. But there's a lot of light up here. Um, 
so I really can't tell. I might have to come back and glaze the whole thing, either lighter or darker, if that makes sense. But I think it's looking better as I get layers on it. Hopefully it is in the video because I really can't tell. My head is a little bit back and to the right of my phone. So anyway, I wanted to pop in and let you know what I'm thinking. And then the, the main point, if I can get it out, is that layers and working it can really help you. I think sometimes people stop too soon. Okay, there, I said it. All right, guys, back to the time lapse. Just a quick couple comments. So the, um, this tire is quite light. I'm not sure why. Cause the, the light is coming kind of in front of us and on the top, from the top right. So I made it darker. Just, I wanna push it down. Um, I'm painting, like this is a highlight shape. Can you see that? See if I can get it to. So that really light white shape is this shape, but I'm not making it as white. I'm gonna try and have my whites be more here. And then I'm gonna put a little white in here, even though this is in more shadow. I want this, as I mentioned, I think I want this to be the star of the show, if I can get it. Uh, circles, ovals are bullseyes. So these pull you up here, but what I'm worried about is I've got circles down here. I don't want this to cause too, or grab too much attention, and it's going to, because we've got these dots. And then, you know, I, I used to, I traced the photo, but so I'm just painting the shapes that I traced and that I see in this tire. You know, those aren't round. So when in doubt, I, I really like having a reference photo because I can look at that. And then I'm just painting, like this is the highlight shape, the center shape, it has a dent in there. I did put a little rest right there. And then I'm, I'll come back and put all the rest in, but I'm still putting in the values of the tire, if that makes sense. And then I did a, I decided to do a fun thing. I'm gonna, hang on, I'm gonna come in front of the camera there. I'm gonna put the word rusty on the license plate. Can you see that right here? I think you can see it better than I can because I'm kind of behind my phone. <laughs> um, not behind it, but to the side of it. And I don't think I'll make the, the letters stand out that strong, but I'm going to kind of have it as like a little Easter egg in there. And then I'm not painting that much detail, but as things start to come together, it may not need too much more to it, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know if I'm going to need much more to that tire. Or, and I was thinking I was going to need more to this tire. I did a little bit, but I, it might be good. Okay, so we're going to work on this part during the live if you want to watch me paint in real time. And then I'll be back after that.
Okay, as you can see, I have freckles here on my lap. <laughs> that last little bit was alive. But the most important thing I want to tell you is this is two months later. And by the time this video posts, it might be almost three months later. So my palette has long dried up. Um, I, you know, I know we painted this during the live. So I'm just going to start over or start over with fresh paint. I know it's thalo blue, green shade, red oxide and yellow oxide, uh, Mars black and titanium white. And I'll, I'll probably just start painting in maybe up here or maybe the word rusty on the license plate because that's fun and just kind of get back into the painting again. Life happened to me and this one got pushed to the side. Okay guys, I'll be back in a bit. friends I thought I'd pop in it's been a couple days I think I've got a lot going on which I'm sure you can relate to sometimes life just gets really busy um, so I'm not sure exactly what day this is but I've just been working on the values I'm trying there's white here here a little bit of white there I'm trying not to use too much white yet oh there's white there um, just so I have some place I can go up and value in um, I have used, I'm saying um a lot, I have used black, so, but I'm not too worried about needing to go darker. And I might want to go darker here, just depending on how dramatic I want this to look. Here, let's do a little tour maybe. The headlights could be done. I put more detail on them. Hopefully that's fairly straight. But like, I think I want some whites up here. So this truck has white and blue on it. So I don't know if like it was painted white underneath on top of the metal and then painted blue. I think that's how it went. And I just put some blue down here, I think during the live. The, the license plate could be done. That's fun. But I could put some white here add the rust I really just need to get one layer down and then see what I think that's about it oh I don't know if I mentioned I'm using a half inch flat brush that came in a packet from Michaels I think it's their artist loft line it's all worn off so I can't totally tell it's just kind of a nice size okay guys I'll be back in a bit Okay, I thought I'd stop here for a minute. This could be done. I've got everything painted in. I do want to put in quite a bit of rust down here, rust around here. Um, I think I'll make a dark line there. I can see it in the reference photo. There's a dark, like really black rusty thing there. I don't know if I'm going to put that in. Um, and I generally have like cooler out of the sun. My son, oh, I don't have it. Well, here, 
This one doesn't have a have tape, but my sun's pretty much coming from the top. Oh, I don't know if you can see that coming from the top. Um, but I'm gonna put white up here, I think, at least there. I put some white here, but when it dries on top of the orange and the yellow, it, it goes darker, so it needs another coat. But that's okay, because I can bring up the values a little more slowly. It's quite loose. Um, this is really white in the reference photo, but I think I might just leave it. That's pretty close to white. I think I might just leave that as it is. Here, I don't know. I don't know if I can get it closer. <laughs> I'm going to get that a little closer. Kind of go like that. Oh, one thing I might do is maybe glaze over that, make it a little darker. I like the steering wheel. It gets pushed back behind the windshield. It's quite loose, which I don't mind. I'm, I'm trying to paint it looser. Oh, I had put some tread marks I could see in the reference photo in the tire, and I thought, oh, I don't want to call that much attention to it, so then I kind of smoothed it out again. The tire is really fun, but I'm wondering if I want to darken that down as I look at it in my phone. Um, because it's down and to the right of the painting. I want to keep you more here. I don't know, I might be okay. I really need to... Well, when I look at my phone, I think I'm okay. This this looks quite white. I put a couple, three, maybe four layers and spots on that. Might be okay. Anyway, I just thought I'd pop in with some comments about what I'm doing. I could take a palette knife, but I might just take my... Here, where is it? Oh, is that like a three-quarter inch flat brush? I think it is. It's a craft brush. It's got a lot of water in it. Kind of dry it out a little bit. Just take some, just put a little bit on the end here. And let's just see what this does. Kind of try and wiggle and be random. And yet brush stroke direction is going to help me because this does curve. Kind of play with lightening that up a little bit. Bring that up a little bit. Yeah, kind of work on where I want my lightest areas in the focus. get the same here I could maybe if I go this way a little bit I won't get quite the same and if I mess it up I can come back with my oranges and rusts and browns and fix it that's the nice part about acrylics it's really easy to fix you don't have to wait a day or more for it to set up it sets up pretty quick now I'm gonna end up overdoing this probably I think that will just kind of softening the edges while they're wet. It dries quick because it's hot in my studio. In the winter, even though it's a drier time of year where I live, um, it's not as hot. I feel like I get a little more time for smearing. You guys can let me know in the comments if I know the weather affects you, but you know, is, does the paint dry faster in the winter or the summer for you? For you, or you just can't tell. <laughs> I complain about it more in the summer. I'm probably gonna have to come back in with some darks. But see, I might not have to darken that if I lighten this, because color and values are relative. Let's see what happens here if I do that. 
And then layers are gonna help you just to have it look more, I don't know, if you want it to look more real. I don't wanna get too much white over here. Let's maybe put some. I don't wanna put, I've got, I'm getting close to the edge and I really don't wanna do that. Let's try maybe a little stronger white, thicker. Can you see how that dried darker? It's kind of thin. That actually helps me because then if I come back, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I can get like a little, I'm just kind of dabbing, get it brighter. All right, that's what I'm gonna be working on next. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm calling it done. So I have a lot more white up here. Um, this is the next day and I decided to follow the reference photo. A little more, a little more rust color back on it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Getting glare from the window. This was a lot of fun. It's really busy up close, but I think I like it when I step back from it. I, um, so I have white there white there a little bit of white there and then white up here so i'm trying to keep you like eh, that's whitish i'm trying to keep my whites kind of in here to help because this truck's looking off off the canvas this is a big bullseye so you'll have to let me know if you think it works in the comments i really appreciate it my favorite part's the license plate <laughs> i think i may have already given you a tour i don't know how good of a tour I can do. It's pretty close quarters. Really fun colors. Yeah, I think I like the rust, a little bit more rust better. I don't know if it matters. One bit. So I think the, the truck was blue, but I think it was painted white underneath the blue and then it's rusted. You guys can let me know what you think. The tire is really fun. It's just that it's you know, uh, on the edge of the canvas. And the grass is just blobs. Nothing, nothing major. I didn't really paint the tire much on that part right there. Just kind of talked about it a little bit. Same with this over here, I didn't really talk about it. And it just goes over to the side. Well, let me know what you think of this one. I really enjoy hanging out with you. I love your comments. Um, I love it when you share your art with me in my Facebook group. There's a link in this video's description. Um, hope you're having a great day. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.